another of this style. There's only one situation. There's really two numbers. There's a red herring number. Which number can we just cross out? 21. Yeah, we don't care that it's a 40 months. So there's two numbers, $20 and 18%. One situation, one of them's a percent. So this is this setup, the problem. So which spot does the 18% go in? That percent one. Yay, that's the easy one. Okay, is $20 the new or the old? The old or the part? It's the old one. So the last thing is our what? That's the setup. Then we translate what becomes y is becomes. Yeah. Now we're going to rip wop. We're going to go out of percent. So left out of percent of becomes multiply. So 0 0.18 times 20. Maybe you can do it in your head. If not, use the calculator. Three point six. So the only problem is we're not done. Why? Because it didn't ask how much is the discount. Oh, that's perfect. So what's our last step? Um. Um, so 360 is the discount amount. We know the old price. How do we find the new price? Um, so 20 minus 360. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I take away four, that would be 16 bucks, but I don't take away all of four. So, oops, nice. <clears throat> this type of thing happens all the time, and I'm sure the GED writers love it. So, when you solve the problem, you think you're done, but they don't actually ask you for the thing that you just solved for. You have to fidget a little bit. You get the discount amount, but they want the new price. You find the tax, but they want the total you pay with the original cost plus the tax. Oh. Or you find the tip, but they want the total restaurant amount you pay with the food plus the tip, not just the tip or that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. 